Well, standing here on the Peacock Island, um, close to Berlin or between Berlin and Potsdam in Germany, um, actually, that's a pretty good spot to talk about philanthropy because uh, the island was donated to um, and uh, to, to some of the people that the king really honored very much so that they could do experimentations here, for instance. But we wanted to talk about the corporate social mind. And um, so there are eight traits and three of them I find really important. One of them is um, a company with a corporate social mind listens. So they listen to their customers, they listen to their uh, uh, to everybody in the supply chain. Uh, so it's about understanding what are social problems that the people, the stakeholders care about that a company is involved in. So that's one. Uh, the second one I find really important is that um, a corporate social mind, uh, company with a corporate social mind also measures its impact. So they look at what is their social impact and how can you measure it, how can you describe it really well so that you can also document that you really had a social impact. And last but not least, the one that I really like is that a company with a corporate social mind uh, um, also thinks a lot about social innovation. So they use their skill sets, their resources to think about how can they develop services and products that um, can be very um, positive also for society. And one my favorite example on that in the book is Renault and how they have developed these garage repair services for cars, garage solidaire, for single mothers and how that had a dramatic impact on the mobility of single mothers in France. So these are the three that I really like a lot and uh, thank you for this chance.